Hello and welcome back to Hunted Mini Bikes. Yes, I know, I'm sitting in a go-kart right now, and today we're gonna do part two of this build. I ordered the live axle, and I don't have the wheel hub adapters. So we're gonna focus our attention on the front end today, and a little bit of comfort, because goddamn this thing shakes like crazy. So hold on, because eventually we'll get some seat belts, and here we go. So we had a dilemma. From the jaw shaking vibrations, I was out riding and this gas tank just broke off. Oh crap. It's not the right one, so I found a solution from the bucket of old Trailmaster parts and we whipped out the gas tank. Wow. And man, it just fits perfectly. This is actually pretty crazy. Just got just enough spacing right there. Perfect size to the front bumper here. Ooh, it's like it was meant to be. Mounting montage, engage. I had to add a pulse pump because the fuel line runs all the way from the front to the back and then the pulse pump draws the vacuum from the throttle body and throws the fuel into the carb. A couple of quick mods and then back to cutting and welding. Next up, we're going to replace this dangerously tiny steering wheel. My god, that's a beautiful steering wheel. Mm goes perfect with the cart and you know what I would like to drive at night sometime so let's go ahead and put a light bar on the front well it's as simple as that my god Jesus it's bright that looks perfect gonna get us plenty of distance there and I do have a pretty big surprise for the middle here. So we're gonna go ahead and move this motor back as far as we can. Looks like we got about an inch or three there. So we're gonna go ahead and max that out as well as throw some rubber dampening pads under there because this thing shakes so hard my eyes vibrate. Okay, so if you can't tell there, the bolts are not long enough, so we're gonna have to run to the store at some point. These risers picked it up about an inch, which is perfect for the chain tightening, but I just need longer bolts. So we're gonna move on. Okay, so bear with me. I have the surprise. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Is that a racing chair? No, it's a gaming chair. Does it look funny? It might. But probably not for long. And the reason I say that is because later on we're actually going to extend this frame and make it a little bit wider so it's not going to look as funny being so tall. But man, mm, I love that design. I'm going with black, white, and gray on this build so it comes in clutch. Okay, now that the engine is mounted in solid, uh, see no movement there. We're going to remove some obstacles so that chair can sit down flush. Okay, now we're going to yank the pads off of this chair here. Okay, that was easy. Damn. Awesome. Oh, did you look at that? So simple. Okay, now we're gonna see exactly how the old chair mount fits on the back of this new chair. And I'm expecting to have to kind of make it longer, but you know, honestly, that's like perfect. Damn. So we've got it in and my god it looks better than I thought. I mean there's still more to go because we're going to extend the frame and all that other stuff. But damn this thing is so comfortable. This is like the best choice I ever made for this go-kart. And we'll actually be able to hook up seatbelts to that later so perfect. And some things I did off screen is we actually removed that orange fuel line, replaced it with the clear one. It runs underneath the gas tank, underneath the seat, comes out back here and mm, just looks so perfect. And we had to move that high pressure fuel pump because we are kind of pushing limits in our distance here. We did an alignment as well, so that'll get us a little bit more speed. And then we tucked all the light wiring underneath the seat so it doesn't look as bad and then mounted the battery thing right there. But there is still one more thing to do. 
After that, we'll take a test run. Just kidding, we're heading out now to find out. Now, I did tune the carburetor, bringing the main jet from a 125 up to a 130, and then the pilot jet down from a 40 to a 35. Now, even with this added weight and everything, I do expect a little bit higher top speed, because I can definitely tell in the low end already. And, I really want to see how well this light bar works. Nice. And here we go. Morning. To get a real top speed, I need a flat road. Well, mostly flat. Look, come with me. I found a spot. Oh god, my butthole. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna swap engines again anyway. I also forgot to mention, with those new rubber pads in this cushy gaming chair, I barely feel anything. This camera is spazzing out because I got a new chest mount, but my god, this thing is smooth now. a little more style and then the front will be finished the last addition to the front end will be this why because it's gonna be freaking awesome that's why Just kidding. So I put this almost dead level with the frame. Now there is a little bit of angle upward to create downforce if that's possible, but this thing is so sturdy. You can pick it up by this. Mm, no jangling or anything. It's gonna sound perfect. Now I am excited to have this finished for part two, obviously. Part three, there's gonna be more. But right now, we're gonna go out and enjoy the style. Here we go. Mm, mighty fine. Back tire. Now 
know, this place is bumpy as all hell, but let's see what we can get done in here. Oh, wow. Lifting the inside tire more than we're <laughs> more than we're sliding. <laughs> Man, that thing is on rails. That thing, this thing. I'm actually very impressed with this. Now it looks a lot better in real life than it did in my mind, but I want to hear what you think. Go ahead and drop your opinion in the comments down below. Now currently it doesn't go a whole lot faster because it's just the same motor with a little bit better tuning. But we're going to go ahead and fix that in part 3 and get a solid axle on this thing so we can have some more fun. But the real question is, did this front lip actually help in some way, shape, or form? I have no idea. I want to hope it does. So what do you think? For example, in this comparison, I was almost at a dead stop on the right side when this race began. But don't worry, in part 3 there will be a difference. And until then, I hope you enjoyed our video here at Hunted Mini Bikes, and we'll see you on the next one.